In this video, we're going to learn about a ribbon cut uh, or a chiffonade cut. A ribbon or chiffonade cut is going to work on uh, any leafy green. So be it lettuce or kale or basil, today we're using spinach. Um, we can use it on, on any leafy green. So today I'm using spinach, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my spinach leaves and I'm gonna start by piling them up on my board in a nice neat pile. Uh, any of the leaves that still have uh, a stem attached, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that stem. And if I have a bigger leaf, I'm going to go ahead and put that on the bottom. And it kind of makes a nice blanket uh, for when I go ahead and wrap up my bundle in my next step here. All right, so I have about five or six uh, spinach leaves. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the stack of leaves and I'm going to roll it up into a nice tight bundle. From here, I'm going to use a sharp eight inch chef's knife. And I say sharp because it's really important that we're using a sharp knife uh, for uh, our chiffonade cut and really anytime we're working with leafy greens. Um, if we use a dull knife, um, instead of cut, making a nice clean cut through our chiffonade, uh, through our bundle to make the chiffonade, uh, it's actually going to mush the greens a little bit and give it the greens a, a brown color. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across my bundle in the width that I want my final cut to be. So I'm starting out with <clears throat> a very fine chiffonade. Uh, so this might be something that I would use uh, maybe for a garnish. Um, but I can also go with a wider cut and I would just cut wider across my bundle for a nice wide ribbon cut. Okay. And this might be something that I would maybe use in a salad. Um, it doesn't really matter what width we're making our cut. The important thing is that we have consistent cuts uh, for the size that we're going for. So you can see all of my uh, very fine uh, chiffonade ribbons are about the same width uh, as are all of my, uh, my wider chiffonade uh, cuts. They're all the same width. All right, let's review. To do a ribbon or chiffonade cut, uh, we're going to use that on any of our leafy greens. Uh, we're going to use a sharp knife, uh, and we're going to cut across the bundle that we create uh, in the width that we want our final cut to be.